not. And then come to sitting. And I can't, I can't shift my chair around. That's no good. I'm so used to shifting it around. There we are. We'll pop it there instead. Namaste. Welcome to this chair yoga practice. And today we're going to be mostly seated on the chair itself. Uh, so making sure that you're comfortable. I've taken a mat underneath my chair to make sure it doesn't slip around on the floor. Um, and if you have a mat and a floor on which a chair would easily slide like this wooden floor, then perhaps taking a mat under your chair just now. We want to begin by sitting with our feet flat on the floor and the knees coming out in front of the hips at around about the same height, give or take. And sitting towards the edge of your seat, but feeling that your sitting bones, those uh, protruding bony bits in the bottom, are quite firmly placed on your chair itself. And once you've found that, resting your hands wherever is comfortable and feeling your spine begin to lengthen a little. You don't need to do anything in particular, just thinking a tall thought, lengthening the crown of the head up towards the ceiling closing your eyes or gazing gently downward and just spending a moment bringing yourself into your practice, really fully bringing your awareness to here and now. Notice the sensation of the contact between the soles of the feet and the floor. the contact between the buttocks, perhaps a little of the back of the legs and the chair. From these two foundations, allow that sense of lifting and space to begin to grow. Feel how your body's feeling today. <clears throat> Notice sensations in the body. Notice where the body feels a little bit less at ease. A little stiffer, a little bit more closed. Those tend to be the points of the body that are most vocal, that we notice the most. So take a moment also to notice the quieter parts where the body is more relaxed, more at ease. Notice how you're feeling. And if you are able to quieten your thoughts or Gently put them to one side until after class. And then notice your breath. Just becoming aware of the sensation of the breath moving in the body. The rhythm, the rate, the depth of the breath. The sensation of the coolness of air coming in through the nostrils and the warmth of the breath as it leaves the body. Let's begin to take some more deeper breaths. So gently drawing your abdominal muscles in just a touch to ease that little bit more air out of the body. And then breathing deeply into the sides, the ribs, the chest, the upper back. As you exhale, using that little gentle action of the belly muscles. And then breathing deeply in. Sides, back, chest. 
soft and long in the exhalation. Just a gentle help from the belly muscles. Relaxing them as you breathe deeply in, letting that breath lift you even taller. Continuing like that for two more breaths. And at the end of your next exhalation, just softening the face, the eyes, swallowing to soften the mouth and the jaw. We can begin investigating movement in our body. So let's draw the chin towards the chest just a little. And then rolling the right ear to the right shoulder, chin back to the chest and left ear to left shoulder. Going from side to side, finding your way in the movement, noticing if any parts of the body feel perhaps a little bit stuck or a little bit in need of a more gentle stretching opening. If you want to, you can roll the head all the way around, lifting the chin rather than dropping the head back. So you connect the two ears across the top of the shoulders. And you don't have to circle if circling doesn't suit you, but if you are reversing that motion. And if you find that there's an area where you want to work a little deeper with your neck or a little bit more, taking it gently, investigating in that area. And when you're ready, you can stay with the neck for a bit longer if you've got a bit more tension to release, but if you're ready to, you can begin to move the shoulders. We're gonna move the shoulders together, circling backwards, making nice full circles, just beginning to wake up the chest, the collarbones, the shoulder blades, the upper back, and rolling in the opposite direction as well. And all the while we've got that connection to the feet, to the sitting bones, very nice. And then we're moving the shoulders one at a time. So just allowing a little bit more freer movement, perhaps a little bit more movement with the arms as well. The elbows can do a bit of leading here. And you can go in both directions as well. And as you allow the arms to come into the movement, you'll notice that more of your body is moving. Feel what it's uh, this movement is doing through the torso, the sides of the body, the chest, the abdomen, the back of the body. And then we're going to do a little bit of a movement with just our right arm. So left, leaving your left arm, I have to do that with the left and right, left arm down, keeping the right elbow nice and soft and making some nice, maybe slightly more expansive circles. You can keep the elbow soft, the hand, the fingers, and perhaps a little twist here in the torso as you're working, as you're moving. And we'll go in the opposite direction as well. Very good. And here you can do just whatever's available. So if you want to make a smaller movement, you can. If you want to do this more isolated into the arm and not move the head and the neck so much, you can. And we'll come to rest the right hand down. Just observe briefly the difference between the two sides and then work with the left. Soft elbow. Uh, movement as expansive as feels good to you. So if you've got a stiff shoulder or an old injury, then working gently with it, taking care and nurturing with your yoga, not stressing the body. Let's go the opposite way as well.
and really beginning to feel that mobilization of the whole of the torso with this movement. Very good. Coming to rest both arms down. And hopefully you now feel a little bit more warm and a little bit more open. We're going to continue by rolling the wrists just backwards and forwards, making uh, spreading the fingers and then drawing them into the palms of the hands a few times and make this as uh, fancy as you want to. So you can move in the wrists as well with this and in the arms. Express. That's what we want. A little bit of expression. Brilliant. And then we're just going to bring the, the little fingers and the outside edge of the forearms together in front of us and then open the arms wide, turning the little fingers a little bit behind us as well. So we're bringing the outside edge of the fingers towards each other, forearms towards each other, and then turning the elbows open and turning the hands as well. So we get that twisting rotation, that spiral sensation through the hands, through the wrists, and that opening across the chest, the shoulders. Lovely. You can see some great action on the screens for the live yogis. Brilliant. And then this time as we come forward, we're just going to relax the arms down to the side. Just do a little bit of swinging the arms backwards and forwards, which helps to relax some of that effort that we've made. You might want to try this with the palms facing forwards. And with the palms facing backwards, notice the difference. And you might feel better just with the palms facing each other. Very good. So we're going to come to resting the hands on the thighs and you can have your knees as wide apart as feels comfortable for you. And we're just going to begin with a little shift from side to side. So it doesn't need to be much of a movement, but it's just like a sway from side to side. You can press into one foot and then the other to help make this movement. So it's not isolated just in the upper body, but you feel that effort of pressing one foot down and then the other and maybe even pressing into one hand and then the other. That's lovely. Once we've done a little bit of sideways action, we can come back to the center and we're going to do backwards and forwards action. So we're going to draw the chest forwards, looking forwards, shoulder blades coming back, elbows are nice and close to the body. Then we're going to round through the back, press the knees away, just lean back slightly, but curve through the upper back, chin to chest. And then leaning forwards, almost like a cow, cat cow pose, but on our seated position and rounding backwards. Let's try it with our breath, inhaling forwards. Nice big smile at the camera. And exhaling, rounding, tucking the chin to the chest. Inhaling. And exhaling. Two more. Inhaling, imagine you're drawing your hands back towards your hips on your knees and then press your hands away from you as you exhale. Draw your hands towards you, opening the chest, press your hands away from you as you exhale. Maybe just one more in fact, like that. And pressing the hands away. And then we'll come upright. And just make any wiggly motion. So sometimes when we're working in one plane, we can get a little bit of uh, tension. So if you need to, to move your head around a little bit, make some figure of eights with your nose. If you need to wiggle your shoulders, you can do that too. And then we're going to make swaying circles. So we're going to begin to stir the upper body around the pelvis. And here, you'll need just a touch of action across the uh, abdominal muscles. You might find that that automatically happens. And certainly as we go to one side, you will feel the oblique muscles, the side uh, muscles activating as you lean away from them. And you can allow your head to follow this movement as well. You can do a little bit more if you want to. 
uh, move a little bit further over the knees, but you don't have to. Just making sure that you're sitting forward enough in your chair that you have space to move behind you as well. And we can go in the opposite direction too. Very good. Just that touch of action across the abdominal muscles. A little bit of pressing into the feet as well really helps. And if you want to, you can use your arms a little bit more as well. And we're going to finish over the, the knee. So as far forward as you feel able to, to comfortably rest with the fingers pointing inwards or pointing forwards is fine. And we're just going to gently rock from side to side pressing into one hand and then the other, almost reaching the opposite shoulder down so that we do this sort of snaking from side to side. And once you've looked at the screen and you know what you're doing, just allow your head to be a bit more neutral. So you're looking down as you do this. And you can imagine it's like you've got something behind you that you're rubbing your back on. Very good. Just a few more. And then we'll come to the center. We're gonna reach the hands down towards the feet. So we drape now forwards and then tuck the chin in and roll up one vertebra at a time, stacking until you come back to upright. And when we come to upright, sitting with the feet very firmly on the floor, we're gonna reach the elbows wide, open the chest, and then come back to sitting in a more neutral position. So we've done most things. We're working sort of top down here. And we're just going to come up onto the tiptoes or on the balls of the feet and then rest the heels down, up onto the toes and down, up onto the toes and down, and then up onto the heels, lifting the toes and down. Up onto the heels, toes off the floor, and down. Up onto the heels, and now both. So up onto the toes, rocking back to the heels. Up onto the toes, rocking back to the heels. I'm pretty sure you guys could have done that coordination from the get-go. We'll do two more of these. Very good. And then we're going to lengthen the legs just a little. So we don't want the legs to be straight. There's still a bend in the knee. And with the, the uh, heels on the floor, rotating the feet at the ankles. So making ankle circles so that you feel your knees roll in and out, in and out. Making circles, you can feel that twisting motion happening in the hips. And this is a is designed to feel nurturing and lubricating. So if it feels not good, then avoiding this practice. We'll go the opposite way as well. Let the uh, movement of the feet guide the knees in and out, keeping them really soft. Very nice. And then when you're ready, you can bring your feet back underneath your knees. So you're sitting tall and we'll take a moment just resting the hands, closing the eyes or gazing gently downward and observing, observing the effect of our practice, allowing the body to assimilate that information, to absorb the information we've given it. And when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. Fantastic. So we're working towards a seated, um, seated series of sun salutation with a few extra postures thrown in. Um, but we're going to start with some side bending. So if possible, rest your hand down on your chair seat. So if you've got room here, you can rest your hand on your chair seat. If not, hold on to the leg of your chair or the outside of the seat. So you've got somewhere to anchor your right hand as we work with our left, okay? So it doesn't matter where it is. If you can reach a little bit further down and you want to, and you've got a bar between the front and back leg of the chair, you can reach for that. Make sure it's a comfortable reach, okay? So from our center, we're gonna lift the left arm up 
and just reaching over to that right side. And we're going to pulse up to the center and then reach over, pulse up to the center and reach over. Just one more like this, pulsing up and reaching over. And then we're going to come all the way back to our starting position with the left arm out to the left. And then we're going to imagine we're hugging somebody on the right side of our body. So we twist to the right and round through the back and hug that person towards us. So the arm is still away from us, but we're imagining we're holding someone. And then we'll come back to the center and we we'll do that hugging motion again. So hugging that person on the right side of the chair, just a slight lean, a slight fold and back to center. And hug that person one more time. And back to center. Now we'll put the two movements together. So we're gonna reach the left hand up and over, side bending. We're gonna come back to the center and then we're gonna hug. Scoop the belly in, just dropping the chin a little. Back to center. Reaching the left arm up and over, side bending first. Coming back to center and then hugging that person on the right. Back to center. I like to think of hugging a tree actually. Reaching the left arm up and over, back to center and hug a tree. Hug a tree. Very good. And coming back to neutral, just resting the left arm down. Take a moment just to feel the space you've created down that left side of the body. And then find a place to hold on the left of your seat, on the outside of the chair or on the leg of the chair, somewhere that just gives you a little anchor point. And we'll do the same thing with the right arm. Sitting tall, breathing in, reaching the right arm over, little side bend and back to upright. Little side bend and back to upright. Little side bend, press into the left foot, back to upright. We'll do one more, little side bend. Back to upright and allowing the right arm to come down to the side. We'll come into hugging the person or the tree on the left side of the body. And back to neutral, sitting up, sweeping that right arm around, scooping the belly in, rounding through the spine just a little and back to center one more time. Scooping, hugging, it's like a resisting as well. Back to center, now the two together reaching the right arm up and over, gentle side bend, back to center, and then hugging over that left side of the body and back to center. Lovely job, reaching up and over, gentle side bend, back to center, and then hugging, rounding, back to center. We'll do one more because I've lost count. Back to center and hugging. And then coming to sitting upright, relaxing the arms, just resting the hands onto the thighs and closing the eyes or gazing gently downward, observing the effect of that practice. And we might do a little seated cat cow again. So taking the hands forward towards the knees, open the chest and as you inhale, Lower the chest towards the knees, opening the chin, drawing the hands back towards you, and then press through the hands, round through the spine, sitting back, leaning away from the knees. Inhaling, draw the hands towards you. Let that draw your body forward. Nice long back, and then around through the spine and press away from the knees. Let's do one more, inhaling forward. And pressing through the knees, rounding through the spine. Back to upright. Very nice. Excellent. Really well done, guys. OK, so to give ourselves a little bit of a wobble here, we're just going to let the arms do whatever they want to do and and move with there's a movement we do in uh, mat yoga called toddler wobble. And so this is a little bit like this. So on toddler wobble, we balance on our sit bones and just let our arms and legs do whatever they're going to do so that we 
get that sense of balance and that engagement across the core of the body, the center of the body. So we're trying to develop a little bit of that. So you can lean away from your knees, away to the side, over to the other side, forward. Just allow your upper body, your arms, sorry, to be floppy and hinging from that stability that you've got around your uh, pelvis, that strength across the abdomen, the low back. Excellent. We're going to come back to center. And if you feel like a ninny doing it, that's OK. Just have a bit of a giggle. And then sitting towards the front edge of your seat a little bit more if you can, but making sure that you are still firmly seated. Reach back behind you, lean slightly back, take your feet off the floor, and you can do the same thing with your feet. So you've got the support of the chair, but just moving the feet and the legs around. You don't have to do much of this. Um, so it's, it's pretty tough work. Um, but just doing a little bit here and there, you'll feel your hip flexors waking up, a little bit in the belly muscles, the buttocks, and then floating the feet to the floor, coming back to standing, resting the hands, observing how that feels. Good job. Okay, I think we are ready now for our, uh, for our sun salutations. So I'm gonna take you through this uh, one time. I'm just gonna do it sitting slightly angled on my seat to show you the first time. So in our sun salutation, we're just doing a flow. So forwards and backwards over the legs, um, but the way that we do it is maybe slightly different from how we have moved. So you want your feet wide enough to feel that you've got space to move over them. Um, I find that the width of my body apart is about right. So a little bit wider than hip width apart. And we're going to begin by breathing in and taking the elbows wide and opening the chest, keeping that openness of the chest as we fold forward from the hips hands will come to the knees. We're going to slide as we drape the body forward over the legs and let the head just relax the back of the neck. And then pressing into the feet, rounding through the spine, coming up one vertebra at a time and finishing by reaching the arms wide. And we'll do the whole thing again. So it's a little bit more like a, uh, the cat cow pose we have done, but with a bit more of a forward bend in it. So let's go together. Firm seat, sitting tall, breathing in, taking the arms wide, elbows wide, open your chest, keep your chest open, fold forward from your hips, hands come to the knees. And when they do, you can drape yourself forward towards the floor. Taking a moment here just to relax the back of the neck, maybe a breath in and a breath out. And then rolling, pressing through the feet, scooping the belly in, rolling up one vertebra at a time. And when you come to sitting upright, breathing in as you widen the elbows and lift the chest, breathing out, taking the hands to the tops of the knees, folding forward from the hips and then draping forward, taking a breath in and a breath out, scooping the belly in, Pressing into the feet, breathing in as you roll up. Breathing out in the center. Let's do that again. Breathing in, opening the chest, opening the elbows wide. Breathing out as you fold forward from the hips. Hands come to the knees, draping all the way forward. Breathing in. Breathing out. Scoop the belly in, press into the feet, breathe in as you roll up one vertebra at a time. Breathe out as you find yourself sitting. Did I say one more time? Let's do it just one more time. Breathing in, elbows wide. Breathing out as you fold forward from the hips. Breathing out as you fold all the way down. Deep breath in and out. Then scooping the belly in, breathing in, coming up to sitting. And breathing out, releasing into your neutral position and just taking a moment or two to observe again the effect of that practice. So we're going to add something to it this time. 
she says. So this time, uh, just watching for now, we're going to breathe out as we fold forward. And as we breathe in and we come up, we're going to draw the left knee, well, we'll draw the right knee into the chest, but the knee into the chest. And then we're going to release the knee to the floor or the foot to the floor as we reach up with our hands. And if you want to, you're going to float your hips up off your chair and then sit them back down again. OK, we'll see how it goes. OK, so from sitting, we're going to breathe in, take the arms wide, opening the chest. Breathing out, fold forward from the hips, hands onto the knees, and continue to drape yourself over your knees. Breathe in and out here in your forward fold, then press into the feet, roll halfway up, and then gather the right knee into the chest as you roll all the way up. We're going to place the right foot down again, lift the hands up and then press into the feet, just float the hips up off your seat and back down again. And release the arms to the side. Very good, excellent stuff. So we haven't quite got the breathing there, but we'll put it together with this side. So breathing in, breathing out as you fold forward and drape all the way down. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. As you inhale, roll halfway up. As you exhale, draw your left knee into your chest. As you inhale, release the left foot down, lift the arms up, and then press into the feet. Exhale as you lift and lower. Lovely, breathing in, opening the chest. Breathing out, folding forward from the hips, hands to the feet, folding all the way down, deep breath in. Deep breath out, scoop the belly in, breathing in as you roll halfway up. Breathing out, draw the right knee into the chest. Breathe in, release the right foot down, lift the arms up. Breathing out, slightly lift the hips and lower. Breathing in, elbows wide, open the chest. This is the last time. Breathing out, folding forward, hands to the knees and sliding down, deep breath in. Deep breath out, press into the feet, breathe in, scoop the belly in, round up. As you breathe out, draw the left knee into the chest. Breathe in, reach the left foot back to the floor, reach the arms up. Breathing out as you lift the hips away from the chair, step into your feet and breathe out lower. And just let the arms float down to the sides, do anything you need to with your wiggling bits. You might want to lengthen your feet and do those circles with the ankles. I did, the, so the class before you guys was a big hip class and uh, I'm feeling it ever so slightly. <laughs> That's all good. We're going to do a little thing for the hip flexors now anyway, because they tend to get a little bit tight when we sit. Um, so let us turn so that we've got our right foot over so we've got our right buttock on the seat, maybe towards the edge of one side with our right knee in front of us. And we're just gonna put the left knee down towards the floor. And our hips can be anywhere that they fall. So they usually fall turning a little bit towards that right side. And the toes are tucked under. And here we're just going to pulse through that heel, that left heel. So backwards and forwards on the left heel. Excellent. That's all. Just warming it up. Then we're going to hold on to our chair with our right hand and you can make any movements with this left hip that feel good. So uh, maybe drawing it up and down or if you want to, a little bit of circling around, maybe not too big of a circle. And when you place that foot down, I'd like you to place it back a little bit further so you've got a little bit more openness here. Smashing stuff. So if you want to, you can continue to hold the back of the seat or you can have your right hand on your right thigh, whichever works for you. And we're going to breathe in, reaching the left hand up and breathing out and lowering. Very simple to start with. Breathing in, left hand up, 
press into the heel of the left foot at the same time, breathing out and lowering. Breathing in and up, breathing out and lowering. Very good. So this time we're going to do a whole circle. So we're going to breathe in and up and we're going to reach that left hand behind us and then back to center. Breathing in, sweeping forward and up and opening, breathing out as we sweep the hand back and down. One more like that, breathing in and up, breathing out back and down. And then the last thing that we're going to do here is breathe in, reaching the left hand out to the left and breathe out as we reach it over to the right side. So behind the seat, breathing in, just reaching up and then breathing out and over, breathing in and up. Breathing out and over, breathing into the center, and then we'll breathe out as we release that leg down, that arm down rather. We're going to gently turn ourselves back to the center, but with our feet much wider apart and the toes turned out. Excellent. So here we can interlace our fingers and take our arms up over the head. If this isn't comfortable to hold, just hold one wrist with the other hand, okay? And then we're going to make circling if in our center with our feet wide, pressing into the feet. So use the feet for stability to circle ourselves around in one direction and the other. Super. If anything feels too much or too intense, remember you can just rest. You can do this with the hands on the shoulders instead and release the arms down to the side. Here, we're going to lengthen that leg that was bent. So the left leg that was bent so much, we're gonna lengthen, we're gonna leave our right hand on our right leg. And again, breathe in, taking the left hand up and breathe out as you come over. And if you feel like you've got the room to do it, you can put that arm down. So the fore arm is on that left, right even leg, right forearm, right leg. And here, we're going to just gently look up towards the ceiling and then back. Up towards the ceiling and then back. And if this position of the arm is too much, hand on hip. Up towards the ceiling and back. We'll do just one more. Up towards the ceiling and back. So coming back to sitting upright, we will travel to the other side for our... Um, I guess these are called lunges. So we want the right knee to be pointing pretty much straight down from the right hip. And the left buttock is firmly on the chair. The right buttock is free of the chair mostly. Left knee pointing to the left and we're just pulsing backwards and forwards through the heel of that right leg. And that's it. We're just getting used to it. We're wakening up the uh, relationships between the hip flexors, this, uh, TFL, this muscle down the side here, tens tensor fascia lata, um, and the quadriceps. Very good. Now I've completely forgotten what I was going to do here. Oh yes, super. So then you're going to make any movements that feel good. You can hold on to the back of the chair with the left hand. Any movements that feel good with that left thigh or knee swinging or making circles with that left knee as well. And use anything you need for support if you want the back of the chair, if you want to use your right hand on your right knee. And when you put that foot down, put it down a bit further back. So you've got a little bit more open space here now in the front of that right thigh. Breathing in, taking the right hand up, opening the chest, breathing out and down. We'll do two more of these. So breathing in and up. Breathing out and down. See if you can push down into the ball of that right foot as you breathe in, press the heel away from you a little and breathing out. And now some circles. So we're gonna breathe in all the way up, breathing out, reaching that hand behind you and down. Breathing in and up, breathing out, just a gentle twist, open and down. Great stuff, girls. Breathing in and up. 
breathing out and down. Excellent. And now we'll do that little side bend as well. So we're going to breathe in and take that right hand up, breathing out, reaching over to the behind the chair, breathing in back to the center and breathing out and reaching over. Breathing in and up, still keep pressing down with the right foot, breathing out and over. And we did four of these, so one more. Breathing out and over. Breathing in back to the center, Breathing out, releasing that arm down. Just gently going to turn through the hips to sit with our feet nice and wide in our goddess squat. And here we are gently going to do twisting. So we, we did circling before, but here you can rest your hands onto your um, shoulders or onto your chest as you choose or onto your hips if you prefer and we're just gently going to twist one way and then the other see if you can press into the foot you're moving away from just a touch not too much just to help the movement a little twisting from side to side very good and then resting back into the center we're going to leave the left leg where it is extend the right leg and we can either bring the hand or the forearm down to the right, oh, sorry, left leg, yes. Left hand, left leg, reaching the right arm over. So we come into extended side angle pose, which you can do with the arm up or the arm down as you choose. And then gently opening the chest. So what you do is you press into the bottom arm as you open the chest towards the ceiling and return. Press into the bottom arm, opening the chest and return. One more, and return, lovely. Coming back to center, bending this leg in as well. And now, just as we did in our uh, sun salutation, where we lifted off the chair, we're going to do that as well. So we're going to breathe in and lift the seat up a little, hold the arms wide and breathe out, bring the hands back to the center. Breathe in, press into the feet, lift the hips just a little and breathe out. Last one, breathing in and breathing out. Very good. Okay, let us bring those legs back towards each other. Woo! What a lot of work. Take the, the feet uh, wide apart, soft in the knees and just roll the circles, uh, circles from the ankles in both directions. So we've done this whole class sitting down um, and we don't normally do that in this class. So if you would like to do a downward facing dog um, or similar stretching, then you can. Um, so I'll leave that up to you. So you can come to the back of your seat. Unfortunately, I will be facing this way. Oh, do you know what? I'm just gonna change the chair. You know, I love to shift the chair around. And then walk your feet away from your seat with the knees nicely soft, you can maybe sway the hips from side to side, or you can paddle through the back of one leg, straightening, and then the other. Whichever of these or any other movements that feel good to you, perhaps it feels good to roll a little bit in the upper body as well, looking under one arm and then the other. Whatever feels good. And then pressing into the hands to come back to standing. And here in standing, we're just going to shake out the legs a little bit. They've done quite a lot of work. And then we will bring ourselves back to sitting. Oh, do you know what? We can do standing for a breathing exercise. I think this would be really good. Um, so I'm just going to pop the uh, chair to one side for now. So standing with your feet a uh, comfortable distance apart. There we are. And a little softness in the knees. Very good. Um, and then we're going to breathe in, taking the arms wide. Breathing out, just settle the shoulders down. Breathing in, lifting up the left arm. Breathing out, lifting up the right arm. Breathing in. Lowering the left arm, 
Breathing out, lowering the right arm, just to shoulder height. Let's do that again. Bring in, left up. Breathing out, right up. Breathing in, left down. Breathing out, right down. This time reversing, breathing in, right arm up. Breathing out, left arm up. Breathing in, right arm down. Breathing out, left arm down. One more, breathing in, up with the right. Breathing out, up with the left. Breathing out, in, sorry, down with the right. <laughs> breathing out, down with the left. I've confused myself. And relax the arms. Just make any arm swinging movements or loose movements that feel good. We'll maybe do a little bit of twisting. We normally do Kati Chakrasana at the beginning of the class, but we can do it here at the end of the class as well. So twisting, pivoting on the toes. We're going to do both pivoting away from and pivoting towards the toe that is turning. So we normally pivot away. And we'll do that. And then keeping your pivot, turn back towards that toe and then turn towards the knee as you bend it towards you, if that makes sense. So like an opposite motion. <laughs> I know what I mean in my head. I don't think I said it very well. We're going to go back to pivoting away from the toe. So we pivot away, the, the leg is long, there's an openness across the front of the pelvis. Let's see if we can get our brains to work. And then pivoting towards, so bending your knee as you travel towards that side. So the shortening, there's a lengthening on the back of the body, shortening on the front of the body. One more time, pivoting away from the toe because it's better to end on the motion that feels the most natural. And then allowing your body to bring the feet to stillness, to bring the rest of the body slowly to steadiness. Take a moment here standing to roll the palms of the forwards, uh, palms of the hands, sorry, forwards, drawing the shoulder blades towards each other, lengthen through the crown of the head, Feel the strength of your standing pose. Now that your hips and spine and core and whole body is working together. When you're ready, bringing yourself into a seated position for relaxation. Or if you prefer, you can recline on a seat or uh, on a bed, if you've got one handy. Using anything that you might need to make yourself comfortable. So uh, wrapping yourself, uh, it's winter here. It's just before Christmas. It's winter here and uh, it's cold outside. As Christine said, it's a drink day out there. And for those of you who are watching on the video, that's a Scottish word meaning dull, dreary, drizzly, uh, a little bit of rain. And you can so make yourself as warm as you would like to. And when you come to sitting down this time, sit back in your seat so that you can relax all of that effort of keeping the body upright, of working those uh, uh, gloriously strong muscles that keep us held together and feeling strong. Relax there. We're going to relax our hands wherever they fall. You can fold them together, have the palms down, palms up, whatever you like. And then take a moment to close your eyes and just allow your body to arrive back on the seat and notice the changes between how it felt at the beginning of the class and how it feels now. Notice if those spots that felt a little bit stuck or a little bit stiff are feeling a little bit more open, perhaps a touch freer. Perhaps there are parts of the body now making themselves aware to you that you were not aware of before because we've used them, we've lengthened and strengthened.
And then allowing the feet to rest heavily into the floor, the backs of the legs, the buttocks, the back of the body to really surrender down into your support. Take a deep breath in and sigh out through the mouth. Repeat two more times, a deep breath in, let all of your effort go. The last deep breath in and really, really relax. As your breath finds its natural rhythm, allow your forehead to soften the area around your eyes to relax, your tongue, your mouth, your jaw to release. Allow the whole of the body to feel heavy, warm, supported and relaxing, releasing. Taking one last really purposeful breath. And then enjoying this stillness, this peace, this quiet.
Gently begin to deepen your breath. Bring your awareness back into your fingers and your toes. Your, bring movement back into your feet and your hands by rolling at the ankles, the wrists. When you feel ready, you can place the feet down. Maybe just lean slightly away from the chair and stretch. Maybe stretch the legs one at a time, the arms. Yawn if you need to, stretch the face. <sighs> and bring your hands together. Rub the palms vigorously, pressing them firmly, rubbing them hard. Getting them nice and warm. Or maybe just a touch of cold. <laughs> and then when you feel like you've created that bit of friction, placing the hands over the eyes. Feel that warmth soften, release the area around the eyes. Blink into your palms a few times. Releasing your hands down as you open your eyes. Now, before we uh, offer each other namaste, I would like to just share this with you. At this time of year, sometimes we can feel a little scattered, um, we can feel people's expectations and the weight of them. And so with the eyes gently closed or gazing downward, repeat after me. I do enough. I do enough. I have enough. I have enough. I am enough. I am enough. And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and Namaste.